Hello and welcome to Geekit Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create some brushed expressionist art out of this photo. So first, let's go ahead and create a brush kind of pattern for what we're going to use. For this, we'll go to create file, new, and we'll go and create new image. So I'm going to set 4000 by 4000 pixels. You can have it a different size. And I want to be sure it's 8-bit mode set. So let's click OK. And next, what I want to do is go to Filter, Render, and we'll go to Render with the Clouds. Okay, now let's go to have the Filter, Noise, and click on Dust and Scratches. We will set the radius to 150. And go ahead, click OK. Okay, after you create it, this will be our pattern of the intensity of the brush when we're going over image. So now I want to take this image and I'm going ahead and define as a pattern. So we'll go click OK and we can call um, soft areas or soft clouds, soft water, whatever you come up in your image. When you're done, just click OK. So at this point, we save this pattern that we can go use it in the future. So let's go back to our image and first what I want to do is to define some edges as a sketch. So we'll go ahead, press command control J to create copy and we call this a sketch. Let's go ahead, next we'll go to the filter and click on a filter gallery. If your filter gallery is disabled, you're probably in 16-bit mode. So you need to go to image, mode, and switch to 8-bit channel. Originally, this image was 16-bit, so I was converting to 8-bit to use it with some filters in our filter gallery. So we'll go ahead and click on the filter gallery, and I want you to select Stylize Glowing Edge. So at this point, I'm going to bring closer face. I want to set the edge with one, so I want to have a lot of details. But at the same time, I don't want to have a two brightness, so probably around 14, I think, will work very well. And same as a smoothness. You can reduce some amount of those details or bring more. So we can play around, maybe eight even will work better. Okay, let's go ahead, click OK. At this point, we have this image, you can see black, white, kind of um, darker. So let's press Command, Control, I to inverse. And next, I want to remove some of those uh, gray scale. So we'll go to Image, Adjustment, and we'll select Threshold. Okay, right here on the bottom, you can see we have a slider. And you can go a little bit more left and right, depending on what image you're using. Normally, I'll bring just enough, so we'll have it maybe around like these details around eyes. Maybe a little bit less. When you're done, click OK. You can see we have the very nice details done for us. Okay, at this point, I want to actually go ahead and sweat, switch to multiply mode. We'll probably change this later, but for now, so we can see some outlines. Okay, let's go now, select the layer below, and we'll go create a new layer, and we'll call this layer brush. Okay, now let's go ahead and fill this layer with a 100% white color by using command, control, and backspace or um, option, depending on what you said. Maybe it will be option backspace, depending on what color you set at this point. Okay, right now I want to start brushing and bring some colors in. For this, we'll go ahead and select our the pan and stamp tool. I want to be sure it is set opacity 100. You can change the flow to maybe a little bit less, depend on um, how you work. And I want to be sure align and impression is checking. And select right here parent, and we can just select the parent that we currently created. Okay, we also want to go ahead and switch this to um, hard light mode. Okay, at this point, you can use a different brushes, and I'm going to just expand on my brush presets. And this is main brushes right here. This is the default Photoshop brushes. So you can switch between them to apply some of those effects. So right here, when a brush layer is selected, hard lights, you can start kind of painting in. 
and again you can select brackets tools to increase decrease size that's what I'm going to do I'm just go like around and painting around this area okay we're gonna adjust kind of make this brush strokes okay, you always can increase size if you want a little bit harder okay and I just try to fill up kind of um, one thing I want to be sure I want to bring eyes up so I will be a little bit more solid fill up in these areas okay and you can see kind of start painting over these areas okay so we can apply with a little bit more brushes. You can see this is already image start coming up. Okay, the next thing is actually when we start to add more different brushes at this point, so we can leave it all these default values at the point. We can create a new layer. We can call the brush two. Set same things to the hard light. You can switch to different brush and kind of start brushing in. Notice right here in, in some it will have an additional effect to apply it to our image. So we can switch of course between different and kind of add those brushes to each other. Okay, right here let's go ahead add some more details. It will be a little bit easy if you use the Vicom pad because it will be pressure sensitive. Okay, let's go back, let it catch up. Okay, we can go switch to brush one. Add slide more right here as well. Okay, we'll go create a new brush and you can add as multiple brushes you wanted. Okay, we'll go to brush three remember we want to actually one thing i forgot to do on brush two it is fill up with white color we'll go to the hard light let's go back right here fill up with the same with white color all the way okay so actually right here i forgot to fill up with white color now we can go back create new layer let's go to brush two Okay, let's go fill up with a white color. It's not a gray. There you go. We'll set to the hard light. And we can actually start painting over this. And you notice right here, because this is brushes kind of combined with what brushes below. So if I going on this edge right here, and I start painting, you can see these brushes applied just only to what brushes we was below. So you can add harder lines and you can add a little bit more softer. So combination with these brushes will actually bring even more interesting effect of the softness. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'll go brush a little bit more inside here. Okay. Let's maybe increase size. And we'll just go brush a little bit more on the face to bring in. Okay, again, we can switch between these two and if you need it, add as I'm going so I can see where details needed. Apply below, maybe right here. Okay, we'll go brush above start painting a little bit right in these areas okay we also have a third brush that we can apply same effect so in some case if you need details we can go third brush same hard light let's switch it and right here we can add even more details again remember this is just the, we add kind of between them um, you always can work with opacity for example you can see we bring a little bit higher opacity on this layer. Okay. Bring in. Okay, we can bring this one opacity the same. 
and when you think you completed with all this image and let me I can apply kind of to this area we can go to the sketch and switch to the soft light you just I think add a little bit nicer effect to this okay, we can bring in closer let's go to just bring slightly down so again this is you start working with layers but you can see at this point we're creating Uh, bare effect again right here we're going 100% we can just bring down with our brushes okay again in this case let me go ahead and select maybe different brush and bring over all kind of like almost even bigger effect right around here maybe okay let's go back to this brush and you can use it all these different size of brushes you know just to bring edges from constrained areas. Get around the right here. Let's go just this one layer as well. Okay, paint a little bit more, add Get a little bit darker on this area. You can see right here we already create a very nice painting. Okay, with some effect. Of course, again, play around between the soft light and in some cases multiply darker area for the edges. So in this case, we can go ahead and bring a little bit more edge out. Maybe around right here. Um, textures, we can apply textures. But before we complete it, I want to go with the actual curve. Okay, we'll go to select this maybe to color mode. And I just want to add couple effect to this. A little bit more painting coloring kind of to this area. Right here, let me add a little bit more. And there you go, we have it, our expressionist kind of painting brush we created very fast out of our um, original image that we have. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com or check our channel at YouTube, it's Geek at Play Studio.